looked out the front window and or out the front door and he saw that the uh, tornado was hitting the high school which was about a block and a half away may 20th 1957 at 7 57 p.m a tornado that can never be forgotten was written down in kansas city history a normal spring day many living in the area heard over the radio that Kansas was once again having troubles with the tornado. Little did anyone expect that it would soon come through South Kansas City. Good morning, Kansas City. Today is May 20th and it's going to be a good day. You can expect a high of 82 with a low of 52 degrees. Winds can be upward of 23 miles per hour, but then other than a little rain, it's going to be a fantastic day to go shopping. There's a small chance of thunderstorms tonight around 7 p.m., so stay tuned because this is WDAF Kansas City. This is the Ruskin Heights Shopping Center, and this is the shopping center after the tornado one of nearly 850 buildings destroyed in this tragic tornado. Betty Gold, one survivor, was right here when the tornado was on its way. This is her story. I remember it like yesterday. When my husband went to work, I thought, oh, I'll go over to Ruskin Shopping Center and do some shopping. I got over there and got out. I felt a few big drops of rain. And I thought, well, I think I better go back home. So, in the car, come back home. It looked like it was just gonna pour down rain. So I stopped here and closed the windows. And then I went down back to a friend. And I went in and, and we heard this loud roaring sound. And I thought it was thunder. And this friend of mine said, no, it's not thunder. So we go out on the front porch, and that's when we heard it, and then that's when it hit. I just felt very lucky. <laughs> yeah, you definitely are. Yeah, so that's, you know, the end of it. I mean, I don't, yeah. you know, there isn't any more for me to tell about. I mean, there was so much damage and so much mm -hmm. horrific, what do I want to say? Um, destruction. Yeah, destruction and... People were so, you know, they were so badly beaten up. That's not the sense of it. The tornado took place on May 20th, 1957, and began in Kansas and continued through the cities of Spring Hill, Kansas, Ottawa, Martin City, Grandview, Hickman Mills, Ruskin Heights and ultimately Town. The destruction of the tornado cost $2,500,000 and damages with 44 casualties and hundreds of people injured. The path left by the tornado had traveled 71 miles from where it originally started. With most of the damages being in the Ruskin Heights area, it had caused the name to be referred to the area. The tornado was labeled F5 due to the high possibility of mass destruction. Just seven years old at the time, author Carolyn Brewer was asleep when she was awoken with the tornado less than two blocks away from her house. Ms. Brewer wrote two books, Caught in the Path and Caught Ever After. Here is an interview with her so she could share her story of how she wrote her books and what she remembers of the tornado. So I guess the first one would be like, what kind of inspired you to write your book, Caught in the Path? Like, I mean, uh, well, uh, you know, I obviously having been in it, it, it never really left me. It was always in the back of my mind. Uh, but there was one particular night when it was very stormy. Uh, my husband is a musician and he was off playing somewhere. Uh, one of my oldest daughter was at a Royals game and the storm just kept getting worse and worse and I was just totally freaked out about the fact that the family was in four different directions. Mm -hmm. 
and just at my thought process that evening as I was trying to deal with that anxiety was, well, I wonder how much of this is just because I'm a mom and a wife and I'm worried about my family and how much of it is a residual effect of being in a, in a storm myself in a tornado and being separated from the rest of my family during that, that storm. I was in the bedroom by myself when it hit. When my parents noticed that the sky looked funny, they were they didn't have the radio on, they didn't have the television on. They were both in the living room reading the paper and my dad happened to look out the window and the sky looked really funny and he probably could hear it at that point, although he didn't really say that. He got up and looked out the front window and or out the front door because the doors were all open. It was buggy, hot. Uh, and he saw that the uh, tornado was hitting the high school, which was about a block and a half away.